Hi, my name's Arden Hanley. I'm a property investor. I'm also one of trainers and mentors, and I'm here now to talk to you about uh, portfolio lending for landlords. A lot of people looking to build a property portfolio may already be in a situation where they're a portfolio landlord, or at least they're aspiring to be a portfolio landlord. So let's look at what portfolio landlord means to a lender and means in terms of the regulations that come down from government to the lenders. So, um, this came in a couple of years ago. This came in effectively in October 2018. And this is about who is and who isn't a portfolio landlord. What makes you a portfolio landlord in the lender's eyes is when you own four or more properties, okay? So a lot of us looking at building a property portfolio aspire to own many more than four properties, which means at some point, we're going to have to think about the portfolio landlord lending requirements. Once you're a portfolio landlord, the lender is required to ask you more questions. That means they have to see a copy of your tax returns, the official copy of the tax return from HMRC. That document is called your SA302. Now, some lenders will accept the electronic version of your SA302, but there are many lenders who require a paper copy, and you have to specifically phone HMRC and request they send you that paper copy. And that can take up to four weeks. So this is something that you wanna be on top of nice and early so you have it available to you when uh, it's something that you need to prepare for your finance broker or directly for your lender. The lender will also want to see a breakdown of your property portfolio. Things like the current value, the current mortgage, the rent that's being generated on that property because they want to see that not only is this new loan going to be affordable, but also that your current property portfolio is affordable as well. A lot of lenders in the marketplace currently, in fact the majority, require you to have some form of income that's external to your rental income. So they're looking for income from a job or other services that you provide. So you need to think about how you structure your business to make sure you have that available to the lender. And for many lenders, the threshold for that external income is £25,000 plus. The lender will also expect to see a personal statement of assets, liabilities, income and expenditure. That's not about your property portfolio, that's about you personally. What do you have coming in and going out every month and can you keep your head above water? And then once you've provided all of that information, finally at that point, they'll start looking at the actual property deal itself and asking all those normal lender questions like making sure that they're only lending a certain percentage of the value of the property or the purchase price, making sure that you have good affordability cover from the rent that's generated to service the mortgage and making sure that there's good long-term demand for that property and it's a safe loan for them to write. So given that you're looking and interested in building a property portfolio, think about what these portfolio lending rules could mean to you, prepare your documentation, have it available early so that you've got everything you need and you can move forward as quickly as possible. If you found this information useful, if you'd like more interesting content around property and investing, please click the notifications bell, like and subscribe. So you can see there's loads more to learn about property investing and guess what? These videos, they're all ready for you to learn even more. So click either one of these right now and you can get some more information on how to grow your portfolio. Click the video, that one, either one, go on.